everybody, Mark Agnesi here for Gibson TV. And today, I'm in the Nashville neighborhood known as Berry Hill. Now, nothing is more iconic to the image of country music than the rhinestone suit. And in the land of the rhinestone cowboys, one man's work reigns supreme. He's dressed everyone from Johnny Cash to Elvis and current stars like Brandy Carlisle and Jack White. I mean, the guy's so famous, he only has to go by one name. Let's go check out the man behind the suits. This is Manuel. I'm here today with legendary fashion designer Manuel. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to have you. I'm glad you guys thought of us. When it comes to Nashville and the, and, and the country look, you're the guy. It was more of a calling than a dream. I'm not a dreamer, I'm a realist. The, the main thing was that I learned at an early age how to do those things. And cutting and follow instructions was, uh, it was easy for me. Some guys are nerds. I was a nerd. Yeah, no, I get it. I'm a guitar nerd, you're a clothing nerd. There's, there's a few artists in particular that I want to touch on because your clothing has had a massive impact on culture and their, their career. The first one I have to talk to you about or ask you about is Johnny Cash because everyone kind of knows Johnny Cash as the man in black and all that stuff. My buddy. Man. But you're kind of the reason that he became the man in black. How did, how did that all happen? John was a... Fantastic fellow, man. Together with a bunch of friends, you know, we, we kind of grew up together, all of us. The boys, like, I, if I don't know John, I mean, on the, on the phone call, hey, this is Johnny Cash. No kidding. And he says, we're going to go on the road, and I have about 50 some shows. I said, wow. So I need like nine suits. He says, I got my suits. Says, you like them? Yes. Yeah. how come they are all black? So I played a joke on him, really. I mean, I said, well, there was a special price in black fabric. But they are all different, right? He says, yes, they are. How many suits do you think you made for Johnny Cash throughout the course of your friendship and, and his career? A couple of hundred. A couple hundred suits. Wow. And I did a lot for June, too. In that family, I think I already pressed three generations. And uh, Hank's line, four generations. And I'm still kicking. Can you imagine that? It's a kind of laughable. <laughs> but I'm still here. What am I going to do? Where do the rhinestones get put on? After the embroidery. So from construction, then embroidery, mm -hmm. and then rhinestones. Yes. And this is Pancho. Pancho's the real artist in here. I'm so happy that there's somebody like him for so many years doing this. It's a master. About 5,000 rhinestones yeah, on okay. per outfit. And each one is done by, one hand. by hand, one at a time. Something like this, how long does a piece like this take you to make? Well, the embroidery will take about 10 days, and then I would say the rhinestone will take about two weeks. So we're talking almost like a one month of work just on- of labor. Of labor, just to create a piece like this. Mm -hmm. Incredible. I made 50 jackets, one for each state of the country. Yeah. It's a gift from me to the USA for the opportunities that I have had through the years. And they travel from state to state, and the kids really learn a lot of that history. Of course, Marty Stewart says, where am I? I said, Marty, shut up. Would you say he's probably got the most of your stuff? He has the most. That kid knows a lot. I've known him since he was like this. Been growing about like this much, a little taller than me. I can't believe that. It must be the lifts that I put yeah. in his boots. <laughs> now, tell me a little bit 
about the history of like the rhinestone suit. Who was like the first artist that started that phenomenon and when did that start? It was the 50s in California. I had a beautiful girlfriend who was a model. She said, have you ever gone to the Rose Parade? To me, it was so cool to see the flamboyance of embroidery. And to see that display, it really, I can do better than that. <laughs> Same old Manuel, you know. There's a lady that makes the embroidery for them. I said, listen, I, I know that you make shirts and pants for the guys that ride horses and stuff on the Rose Parade. I would love to learn what you do. And I'll make all your shirts and pants. I'll cut them and for free if you teach me. And I'll pay you for teaching me. She couldn't believe it. But anyway, we got into the agreement. And Viola Gray taught me how to do embroidery of all kinds. And so let me get this straight. You were making clothes for the Rat Pack, hmm. and you got bored with that. Suits, man, <laughs> all the time. I was like, oh. Now tell me a little bit about your Hollywood career, because you did costumes for Everybody. a lot of movies for a long time. Tell me, just uh, give me like a greatest hits of some of the, the stars you dressed when you were working as a, in Hollywood. Everybody. From Jim Stewart to Robert Taylor, you name it, every one of them I dressed in movies. I call it sweet serendipity, being at the right place at the right time with the right people. While I was with, my, with Viola Gray, I, I met Edith Head, who was the best designer ever in the world to this day. And Edith Head helped me even to put a pair of jeans on. James Dean for Giant. A pair of jeans, I said, nobody wears a pair of jeans. But I know a lot of people give me the credit for that, but first film ever with a pair of jeans, a guy stuck, can you imagine? Wow. And the same thing with elephant bell bottles for uh, Sony and Chair, you know. You never know how long or how far it's gonna propagate. You should try this on, man. Oh, feels good. Turn around so you can see the medallion. Look at that. Do you know how much that is? I don't know if I... 15 grand. 15 grand? It feels like 15 grand, I gotta tell you. When did you start working with Elvis and what was some of the iconic moments? 1956. The kisses, nice meeting you, sir, blah, blah, blah. He really did a little dance. I said, yeah, this guy can do it. When I saw him like that, I said, ooh, ooh. I went and bought this fabric, and we made him pants and jacket and rhinestone the hell out of it. I made him a shirt. I, I bought a pair of loafers and sprayed in gold. I mean, I, I was just creating my my own thing. But the suit he wore on the Ed Sullivan show? Yeah, but they didn't show him. But, but that way. was your suit that, in oh, that yeah, Elvis of course, moment? Of course, of course. Now, you've dressed the who's who of movie stars, rock stars, country music stars. Kings, queens. Kings, queens, presidents. The presidents of the United States. Are you ever going to retire? I put new tires this morning, so I just <laughs> retired. <laughs> For more information on Manuel or to book an appointment for a custom fitting, check him out on Instagram at Manuel Couture. That does it for me. I'm Mark Agnesi. I'll see you guys again next time from another iconic music destination on the next episode of The Scene. Peace.